A German company based in Cape Town, which develops green hydrogen and e-fuels, is touting its advanced technology to turn acid mine drainage into clean energy. Economy has advanced from exporting green hydrogen from South Africa to Germany to helping local miners find solutions to acid mine drainage. Business editor Olani Mbangwa caught up with the company at the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. If you came to this uh, World Economic Forum uh, 20 years ago, issues of climate change were bottom of the rung, climate finance and what countries needed to do. It was all about industrial electrification. But there has been a lot of change over the years because of climate change and climate finance. And one of the companies uh, which we spoke to about four weeks ago is Economy, which is operating in South South Africa, a European-based company that is in green hydrogen just to make sure that carbon emissions are removed from our energy supply. And it is an important company when it comes to the future of a green hydrogen and the energy transition. I'm joined here in Davos by Olaf Martin, the COO and CTO of Economy. Olaf, thank you for your time. Such an important time uh, right now for the world. Donald Trump coming into the presidency. He doesn't believe in climate change, but uh, your company uh, believes in uh, climate change. Your company is heavily invested, not only in Europe, but in South Africa in making sure that uh, the green hydrogen, making sure that energy transition does take place. Tell us about this latest drive now that you are working with when it comes to mines in South Africa. So mines, mines industry, steel industry, mining industry are very large emitters. These guys are challenged by um, scenarios like CBAM, etc, etc, approaching us systematically. We as a company, we engage with these mines and deal with their decarbonization strategies, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. You mentioned a very interesting point. 15 years ago, it was about industrialization, electrification, etc., etc. If we put this into a South African con context, 15 years ago, we were hoping for electricity. We had an ailing infrastructure, etc., etc. And the renewable energy, the, the renewable electricity scenario has been built over that period of time. Today, we use the word load shedding much less in our local environment which is a very positive thing for the total decarbonization and restructuring of mines in that instance. This volume which was built over these large years actually is the foundation for the decarbonization using green hydrogen as the core driver of this green hydrogen leading to methanol, kerosene, ammonium, etc., etc., which are seen as the new vectors or fuel vectors for the modern in economy. These are topics which are happening here in Davos and at this economic forum, politics aside, there's a lot of peers, exchanges all around the world. You can share information and it's an eye level um, concept, discussions, which, which lead down the road to, 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 positive, to a positive scenario. Um, we are still a long way from that away, from solving these solutions. But South Africa in that instance, if I take the discussions we've had here, is actually an outliner, a forerunner in this total decarbonization strategy because of our really well-established green energy, wind and PV infrastructure in our country today. So we actually have a beautiful business case for this new industry. When it comes uh, to the future, you say it is uh, a long way away, but the work is happening now. Uh, we spoke earlier about acid mine drainage, something that is uh, quite topical in South Africa. Many, many mining companies having left uh, a legacy and that has left acid mine drainage that is uh, not good for the environment. Talk to us about uh, that work they are doing in trying to use and help the mining sector deal with that challenge. So acid mine drainage, as you correctly say, it's a legacy scenario. Old buildings, old mines, shafts, etc., etc. Acid mine drainage is one of the major pillars. 
water just comes out of the ground, which for a country like South Africa sounds kind of strange, southern, su southern sub-Saharan country where water comes out of there, it's polluted. But through the green hydrogen scenario, if we're going methanol, whatever route, we ultimately offer a business case to clean this water and offer mines not only a surface rehabilitation tool, but also a cleaning tool for this massive volume. And that again puts South Africa on the chart. Acid mine drainage is not a South African unique problem. Germany has it, the United States has it, Australia has it, um, Namibia has it, every country in the world has this. And again, I come to the point, South Africa is pushing this boundary and it's giving a business case to deal with these global challenges. And that again is a point where in Davos, you have the ability to share with your peers other mining companies which are sitting in Chile for argument's sake, who, who have the same challenge, who want to convert. And we share information, what's your problem, what's our problem. And that allows the pragmatic engineering to carry on. Not focusing on policy necessarily, not focusing on politics, focusing on the pragmatic solution. How do we deal with this challenge? One step at a time. Olaf, thank you so much for your time. Olaf Martin, the CEO, uh, the COO and the CTO at Economy, explaining the advantage that South Africa has when it comes to de developing these new technologies and being part of these new technologies to get rid of carbon emissions and make sure that uh, when it comes to the energy mix, when it comes uh, to renewables energy, we're at the forefront uh, and the uh, at the center when it comes uh, to making sure that the energy transition reaches its peak. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Kolanim Banjwa in Davos, Switzerland.